Hi everyone, welcome to this video on how to use Siri. Basically I'm going to go through everything that's involved inside of Siri, how to set it up, I'm going to show you what it's all about, and go through some of the cool features that they have. Now for starters, um, when you first get started with Siri, you need to set it up, you need to turn it on. And uh, although this is simple, I know a lot of people will probably overlook this and think it's broken. So just turn on your phone, go into the settings tab here, you want to go to general, Siri, and turn it on. Mine is on right now, as you can see you can uh, turn it on and off. Um, I'm going to leave it on, obviously. Okay, now let's get into Siri and how it works. There are three ways you can get Siri started. One way is to hold the home button here few seconds and it'll turn on. Another way is to press the button on your Bluetooth for a few seconds or your hands-free headset. And the third way, which is pretty cool, just lift the phone to your ear and it'll automatically start Siri and you can just tell it what you want. Okay, so let's get into some of the features, some of the things you can do. You can set appointments with Siri, as I said before. I'm going to go ahead and set up a doctor's appointment. You push the home button Set up a doctor's appointment for tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Okay, here's your meeting. Note that you already have an appointment about appointment at 2 p.m. Right. Shall I schedule this anyway? No. To continue, you can confirm, cancel, change time to... So as you can see, it was going to set up the appointment for me, but I've already put the appointment in there. So it knew that and went ahead and let me know and asked me if I wanted to schedule the appointment anyway or cancel it. So if I didn't have the appointment at 2 o'clock, I could go ahead and confirm that. Now, uh, it also goes to the weather, which is pretty cool, and it understands the different ways that you talk. So if you ask it a question, it's going to pull up the best answer, and it doesn't really matter how you say it. So let's try and get the weather to start here. Do I need a coat today? The low temperature will be 8 degrees. Is it raining outside? Why yes, it does seem to be raining. Okay, and as you can see, once again, it pulled up the weather application and uh, worked pretty good. Let's go back to the home screen here. Now you can send text messages with your voice, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Send text message to mom. Hey, what are you doing? Here's your message to mom. Ready to send it? Cancel. Okay, I won't send it. So as you can see, it did put the message up there. I canceled the message because I don't want to send that right now, but once you send it, it'll send it automatically and you can basically say whatever you want and most of the time Siri will understand you. Now Siri also can receive text messages and read them back to you. This is perfect for people that are always on the road or then you're driving so you don't have to take your hands off the wheel. So I'll go ahead and show you that in just a little bit. Now another cool feature with Siri is the ability to search and ask questions and it'll pull up the answers for you. Now if it can't answer a question, it's going to search the web, the internet, using a Google search, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and ask it some questions. What's 250 times 482? I found this for you. So as you can see, it figures out the answer pretty quick. And uh, if it can't find the answer, it's obviously going to jump to the Google search. So let's go ahead and ask it a question it can't answer. How do you install hardwood flooring? Checking on that for you. I can't answer that, but I could search the web for it, if you like. Searching the web for how do you install hardwood flooring? So as you can see, it pulls up a uh, search on Google, and uh, you can find your answer that way. Now, another one of my favorite features with Siri is the notes. Siri is actually able to write what you're saying. Now, let's create a new note here. So at the bottom here of the keyboard, there's a little microphone tab, and if I press that, it's actually going to write what I say. Things to do. 
groceries, dishes, garbage, and mop the floor. And as you can see, it's written everything I said. Now, there's some tricks here that you need to understand if you're going to use this. You need to know how to make spaces. You need to know how to make paragraphs, um, add question marks, and so on. So let's go, let's make some spaces here. Let me just scroll up a little bit. All right, so let's say you wanted to uh, write a sentence. You want to put a period at the end. All you have to do is this. These are the things I need to do, period. And as you can see, it's put the period down at the end. Now this works for pretty much everything. If you need to put a comma, you just say comma. If you want to put a question mark, just say question mark, exclamation mark, and so on. And a cool feature here is you can put in a smiley face or a frown face or whatever. So let, let's give it a try. Smiley. And it put in the little smiley face there. Wink face frown. See, and it'll put the faces in there for what you're saying. Now if you wanted to make a new line or a new paragraph, you just say that. New line, hello. And it'll put my hello on the next line. New paragraph, hello. And it skips a line and goes down one for the paragraph. Now these are simple things that you can use in your text messaging with your notes and pretty much anything you're using the voice recognition uh, of Siri to type with. Now if you wanted to go back to the home screen and just write a note with Siri, you would just hold the home button and then say create note and say what you want to say. Create note, things to do. Now another thing that a lot of people are doing with Siri is just playing around with it, asking it stupid questions and seeing what Siri does. So let's go ahead and do that. Can you install hardwood floor? I'd love to install that for you, but I'm not permitted to. My sincerest apologies. Where can you hide a body? What kind of place are you looking for? Metal foundries, mines. Reservoirs, swamps, or dumps. The funny thing is that it'll answer you pretty much with anything you say, even if it's something ridiculous like where to hide a body. Are you my friend? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't answer that. Will you marry me? Let's just be friends, okay? No. No, perhaps not. Who made you? I, Siri, was designed by Apple in California. Is Android a good phone? You're kidding, right? So these are just a bunch of funny things you can say, and really it's endless what you can think about. There's the text message, so let's go ahead and listen to it. read message how's the video coming along you can reply or read it again so there you have it messages can be read back to you especially useful in your car the one thing I'd like is if it could read your emails to you as you can see I got 64 of them down there and it would be nice if I could receive my emails while I'm driving. But anyway, uh, Siri is a great help. And for those of you that live in the United States, you can even use Siri to grab your maps and directions, which is amazing. I can't wait for them to update it so that I can use it too here in Canada. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, hit that like button subscribe and comment. Let me know what you guys think of Siri. Do you think this is something that's going to take off? Do you think it's something that's going to be advanced and used in our computers? What do you think about it? Have you had any success? Have you had problems? Let me know. Leave a comment. And uh, if you have any ideas for some other how-to videos, let me know as well. I'm going to continue to pump out these videos as quick as I can. Alright, thanks for watching guys. I'll talk to you soon.